The second in my pyramid strategy is unleash. So the first thing is seed, which is your idea. The second thing, now you have to unleash that idea. You know, when I started Front Porch Classics, a gaming company out of Seattle, we needed to go out and raise some money, so we needed a game plan. I heard you talk about your toolbox and your game plan today earlier. And uh, so what we needed is that roadmap. So what we did is we wrote our business plan down, the who, what, how, why, everything that was involved in there. And we needed to raise $500,000. Once we had that done, it took us two weeks to raise that. We had a lot of confidence. We had a lot of great ideas, but we had no product. And we raised that money because we had a game plan and people could see that vision. The other thing, I think, is that you always want to write your actions down that you do. There's a 21% better chance you actually accomplish these things. And for me, what I like to do is I like to write these things down the night before. Why? Because when I wake up in the morning, I am hard charging, it's locked and it's loaded on exactly what I'm going to do during the day. I don't wake up in the morning trying to figure it out. When I was a freshman at the University of Washington, I was six foot two, 181 pounds, and I could not bench my weight. I was so overwhelmed by everybody else who was big, strong, confident, and that was not me, for sure. So what I did, though, is I wrote down, and I followed the pyramid of success from Coach James, and it allowed me over time, and it was a long time before I got to play, but when I did, I made the best of my opportunity. This other chicken scratch that you see up here um, is something that I found that I want to include in today's presentation. And I wrote this on my fourth mountain. You guys, there's the Andes team in here. So I was down in uh, South America, in Argentina, climbing and summited Aconcagua, just under 23,000 feet. And I was in my tent at 19,500, and we were there for three days, waiting to summit. And so I had this idea that my seventh summit journey was well underway. I was on my fourth summit, and I was 100% confident that I was going to summit that mountain. But what I wanted to do is I wanted to figure out what it was going to take to start broadcasting my journey. So one day, which happens to be next year, I was standing on top of Mount Everest. I've got the Matronic flag that's up there that you guys are going to sponsor me. And it's going to be a great way to back that because I've got the sport. Right, Chuck? <laughs> <laughs> there you go. I can also tell you this, that uh, 18 months later, uh, my following is now over 200,000. So it's been very remarkable. But it, it took a vision board for me to go write my goals down, understand it, to move forward. And there's something else that I wrote down at the time, which I, I, I thought was really interesting. Um, and it was just, you know, chicken scratch at the time. I was up there. But I wanted to write down, and this relates to you guys, about what motiv motivated people are. I was just writing down uh, characteristics. Number one, are self-starters. Number two, accept accountability. Number three, look for solutions, not excuses. Number four, never pass the buck. Number five, move forward with dignity. And the result is a winning attitude. If you guys do that here in Medtronic, you're going to be on fire.